Hey devs! In this week's video, we're going to set up how to create issue templates within GitHub. These are useful because they can allow us to pre-populate certain types of common data that we want to have in our repository issues. This can help make sure that contributors to our project, or even ourselves, are always specifying useful information when we're creating new issues in GitHub. So, we're going to essentially walk through this process that you can find and this GitHub article here. The link for this will be down below. To create a new issue template, you want to go to the repo in which you're working with. You're going to go over to the Settings tab. Then you're going to scroll down to the Features section here. And there'll be a little issue here showing whether you have issues uh, enabled or not for your repository. If you do have it enabled, you'll then see this Set Up Templates button. If we then click that, We'll be brought to kind of this template creation screen here, and we can create a dropdown, and you'll see that we have several options. We have a bug report standard template, a feature request standard template, and then a blank custom template, which we can uh, customize for whatever other types of issues we want. So first off, we could create a bug report. So we'll click that, and now we can preview and edit this. And so by default, this is the bug report that will be created for us anytime we create a new bug issue. So now we can go ahead and just leave this as it is to start, or we can edit this. So let's go ahead and edit this to make this a little bit less overwhelming. So you can see here that we can change the name. So in this case, it's bug report. We can change kind of the description. So in this case, we could describe the bug, we could edit the to reproduce section, the expected behavior, any screenshots. In this case, this project is for mobile devices. So we'll go ahead and remove this desktop section. And then I'll leave this info here for a smartphone relating to device, OS, browser won't be as useful here, but OS version certainly will be. And then I kind of like this section at the bottom for any additional context. So we go ahead and leave that as is. And then you could also suggest a default title here, and you could even add labels. So in this case, I'll go ahead and add the bug label by default so that any issue created with the bug report template will also be labeled as a bug. So now we go ahead and click close preview. Now let's say we want to come in and create a feature request. So same thing, we'll select feature request. And we can come in here and preview this. And so now if we go to edit again, you'll see kind of the default information here. Is your feature request related to a problem? You can describe, we'll go ahead and leave that. Describe the solution you'd like to see, we'll leave that. Describe any alternatives, we'll leave that. Additional context, okay, that sounds pretty good. We'll go ahead and leave that as is. And then once again, we could come down here for the labels. And in this case, we don't have a feature label, but we do have an enhancement that says new feature or request. So we'll select that. And then once again, we'll click close preview. Now let's see what it's like to create a custom template. So in this case, I'll create custom template and preview and edit. Now in this case, I want this to be a template for like an engineering task, something that maybe isn't user facing, but could be an optimization or updating a library, something more behind the scenes. So in this case, I'll call this engineering issue template. And we'll say an engineering task. And then here, once again, we can describe what this content should look like. So we could say proposed change. And then maybe we'll have a section here for um, why is this important. And then we could go ahead and fill out any additional context as needed. Okay, but once again, I'll hit close preview. And so now to go ahead and save these to our repository, we can come over here and click propose changes. And this is essentially going to create a pull request to merge these templates into our repository. So Right here, we have our commit message, which is update issue templates. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as is. I'm going to leave a more useful comment here 
adds issue templates for bugs, feature requests, and engineering tasks. And then in this case, I'll create a new branch for this rather than committing directly to master. I'll name this any issue templates, and then I'll go ahead and commit these changes to that branch. So now I have this pull request. And if you come over here to the files changed and we look at the files, we'll now see that we have three new files added to this repository. We have one for bug report, one for engineering issue template, and another for feature request. Now notice that these are all markdown files, so you can edit them just like you would your readme or a pull request template. You'll see that all of these live in the .github slash issue template directory at the root level of our project. So if we come over to code and we switch over to this new branch, we can go to this .github directory and we'll see that we already have a pull request template added, and now we have this issue template folder. And if we open up that, we'll see the three templates for our new issues. So this means that we can come back and edit these in the future and get feedback from our team. So let's go back to pull requests. We'll go ahead and merge this pull request. Go ahead and delete the branch. So now if I come over to issues, and I select new issue, we'll see that it's prompting me to select which type of issue I want to create. So I could create a regular issue here. They would have no template added to it. So it'd just be an empty issue, or I can select one of these three that we already set up. So in this case, I could create a bug report and you'll see that it automatically has that bug label and it has all of that pre-populated information that we specified in the template. So this is where we can now avoid having to remember all of this information and we can direct our users, our product managers, our designers, whoever has access to this repository towards specifying the correct type of information and any additional context needed. So this can really help improve the quality of our issues, make it easier to track these issues and understand what we're trying to fix or build. So that's how you set up issue templates for your GitHub repositories. Hopefully you'll try this out. If you have a issue template that you find particularly useful, share it down below or on social media. I'd love to see what types of templates other people are using within their projects. Until next time, devs.